Hey guys, this is Quest 24th session, so I figured I'd give you guys an update. This is also his fourth time back into work since his month-long vacation. So as you can see, I'm still starting out with round penning. It's really helpful to just get his attention and get him in the right frame of mind to be working. You can see he's getting really good at his inside turns and it's really fun to play around with. You can see here I kind of stopped my body language to show him that I didn't want him to continue going the other direction. And he thought about it, but then he did come to me and that's how we end every day. So here I'm working with him with the lead rope, letting him know that every time that the lead rope touches him doesn't mean that he necessarily has to move. It may just be petting him or rubbing him. The past three sessions since having the long break, we were having some bucking issues. So as soon as I would tack him up, he would take off bucking. So here I'm working with the lead rope acting as the girth. And you can see that I'm holding the pressure there and then asking him to move his hindquarters, mainly because when he moves is when he would freak out. So uh, yet when I did this yesterday, this was a pretty big deal for him. Having, he would tense up when he would move, but he was much better today. So you can see I'm putting on the pressure of the girth rope then I will ask him to move his hindquarters. And then I always make sure to make him stop and wait before I release the pressure. So that way he doesn't think that when he moves the pressure gets released, but it's when he stands still that the pressure gets released. Quick shout out to David Taylor driving by who didn't even see me wave. Where were we? Oh yes, so now we are working on draping the lead rope over his butt and getting him to follow the feel of the lead rope. Quest is very juicy about his hind end. He tenses up whenever you even touch his hind end. So this was really great for him. This was the third day working on this. So he was getting much better about it. So I just take it on his other side and slowly drape it around his butt and he really had to think about this. You can see him licking and chewing. So here he kind of just wanders off but I just stay with him and praise him when he stands and stay with him. And praise him when he stands. I don't have a whole lot of control because the lead rope's on the other side. So we just go with it. So I go back to rubbing him with the lead rope and letting him know that it doesn't always mean to move. He likes to jump ahead of himself sometimes. And once he stands, we continue with the exercise. So here I'm tacking him up. Keep in mind that he has been bucking the past few days, so I am being mindful of that. He moved off and I kind of just let him go, mainly because I didn't want him to stand there and tense up. But I was just holding the girth there, holding the saddle on, just waiting for him to settle. When he does stand for a second, I release the pressure of the girth and then when he moves, I do put it back on.
release the pressure, put it back on. So he does need to know that he has to stand for being tacked up. At this point, I do realize that he isn't really afraid of anything, so I did give him one hard stand still and then praised him for standing, and I was able to tack him up. I did end up going back after lunging him to make sure he was going to be okay with the tack. I did go back and untack him again and then tack him up to make sure he would stand, and he did stand nicely the second time. And as you can see, there was no bucking when I did let him out on the lunge line. got a little confused on which direction I wanted him to go so I just put his hip over again and tried again. He's a little bit more reluctant going to the right than he is going to the left. I am on the pony. So the first thing I do whenever I get on quest is flex him to both sides. Flexing to the right is a lot more difficult for him. Anything going to the right is a lot harder for him. He drops his shoulder a lot to the right. And I try not to yank him over, just kind of ask him nicely until he gives to me. When he moves, I'm just going to hold it there until he stands and then release the pressure. So I want to teach him that he has to stand when he is being asked to flex his neck around. Once I feel he's nice and relaxed, then I ask him to walk off. Here he is at the trot. So we've mainly been working on just lots of changing directions and changing the bend and getting him nice and soft. He's quite the fancy little mover. I didn't ask him to come down to the walk, so I'm asking him with my leg to pick the trot back up. He got a little bit stuck there. We just kept at it. <laughs> Probably stuck by the gate. You can see he got a little bit stuck there by the gate, but he didn't stop that time. Changing directions. Right there is his trickier spot to the right. It's where he likes to drop his shoulder.
And you can see that I'm just opening my hand. I'm not dragging him from direction to direction. And here is his second time cantering under saddle. It's very comfortable. <laughs> He did really well, so we just asked for a couple times around the round pen. I didn't want to tire him out too much. And we did end up going to the right as well, but he got a lot more stuck going to the right, which was not a surprise to me. So my videographer, Emma, ended up having to come in there and help me with the stick a little bit to get him going and to keep him out on the rail. Overall, Quest is doing really well. This was his 24th session, and I'll be sure to keep you guys updated.